Christ Light in the studio. Last week you heard from them, and uh, they came in with a message of Jesus Christ being a Negro. Yeah. And today too, they are here. I told you last week, send them so to Monka. They are here. Um, I do have Captain Isaac as well as Captain Hananiah live in the studio to talk about Jesus Christ and a um, couple of things as well. Good morning, sir. Good, good morning. 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 Good morning. Good morning. How you doing, Nana Benny? I'm good. I'm well. Hope you're good too. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank God. Yeah. Okay. Uh, today too, let's hear you. What message do you have for every listener out there? All right. Contrary. Good morning, first and foremost, brothers and sisters of Ghana. Good morning and shalom. Contrary to popular belief, uh, Jesus Christ is a black man. And like we discussed, I believe this was last week sometime. Yes, Jesus Christ is a black man. He is a Negro with white woolly hair and he is our savior. Now, the question is, who did he come to save? Because everybody thinks that he came and died for the whole world. You're going to find out this morning that is not so. Jesus Christ did not die for the whole world. Jesus Christ only died for the nation of Israel. And according to the last, uh, the last show that we were on, we discussed the lost sheep of the house of Israel, all the sons and daughters right here in Ghana. You are those descendants that Christ died for. So with no further delay, let's open up with the book of Matthews. Let's open up with the book of Matthews. We want chapter 1 and verse 21. Matthew 1, verse 21. Mm -hmm. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Mm -hmm. For he shall save his people from their sins. Now, a lot of times we read past that. It says his people his people now before you get to verse 21 you have christ's genealogy genealogy of jesus christ let's go to verse one <clears throat> say matthew chapter one verse one mm -hmm. and the book of the generation of jesus christ mm -hmm. the son of david the son of abraham verse two abraham begot isaac mm -hmm. and isaac begot jacob and jacob begot judas I mean, Jacob uh, begot Judas and his brethren. Now jump to verse 16. Verse 16. And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. Now when you get down to verse 21, it says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So the his people here are talking about the Israelites. That's why they gave you the whole genealogy of Jesus Christ. Now, why did his people need a savior? That's the question. Why did his people need a savior? Remember, the Israelites are the ones that went into a covenant with God. When you read Deuteronomy, the 27th chapter, and the last few verses, we went into a covenant with God to keep his commandments. We did not keep his commandments. Therefore, curses fell upon us, and we always went into slavery. Now read verse 17. Verse 17. Mm -hmm. So all the generations from Abraham to David were 14 generations, and from David uh, are 14 generations, and from David until the carrying away until Babylon were 14 generations. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. So now you're reading about a whole bunch of generations of Israelites being sold into slavery. Okay? You had the Syrians, you had Babylon, you had the Persian and the Medes, you had Greeks, you had Rome, and now you have America and its allies. The Israelites were always in slavery. That's why in the book of Jeremiah, what does it say? Is Israel a home-born slave? So yes, we are the ones that need a savior. We are the ones that need a savior. Why? Because we are the ones in captivity. That's why Jesus' name means he shall save he, his people. He shall save. He shall save. Now, go to Matthew. We're still in the New Testament. We're going to stay in the New Testament for some time. We want Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. Mm -hmm. 
And he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the Lord sheep of the house of Israel. You hear what the Bible is saying? It's simple common sense. The Bible says, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Let's see. Let's keep it in context. Let's see what was going on here. Start at verse 21. Start at uh, verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Mm -hmm. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast. So this was a Canaanite woman that came out of the same coast. Read. And cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Mm -hmm. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. So this woman wanted Christ to heal her daughter. Her daughter was vexed with a devil. Read. But he answered her not a word. So Christ didn't answer her a word. Not a word. Go ahead. And his disciple came and besought him, saying, mm -hmm. Send her away, for she cried after us. Read. But he, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the Lord sheep of the house of Israel. Read on. Then came, then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. But he answered and said, It is not me. To take the children, bread. So now listen to what Jesus Christ told this woman. It is not me. It is not right to take the children's bread. Who is the children? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. The same people that Christ came to what? Save. As pertaining to Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. Now in verse 26 it says, But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread. Read. And to cast it to dogs. And to cast it to dogs. Notice what Christ referred to this Canaanite woman as. And her people. It says, and to cast it to dogs. And to cast it to dogs. Read on. And she said, Troop Lord, mm -hmm. yet dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Wow. Are you listening to this, Nana Bunny? This woman, this woman acknowledged that Jesus Christ was her master and that her and her people were dogs. She says, and she said, truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. And as you read on, Jesus Christ, okay, said for this saying, your daughter is healed. But she acknowledged that the Israelites were superior and everybody else was inferior. Why? Because that's the way God ordained it. God chose the nation of Israel and he sent his only begotten son to die for the nation of Israel. That's recorded throughout the whole Bible. But the church took our record book, misinterpreted the Bible, and they made it a universal book. But when you read the Bible with new eyes, not white man eyes, when you read the Bible with new eyes, you realize that the Bible is for the Israelites, to the Israelites, by the Israelites. Let's get some more, Nana. Let's get some more for the brothers and sisters of Ghana so they may understand. Let's go now to the book of Luke. Let's go to the book of Luke now. We want chapter 1 and verse 68. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Mm -hmm. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So the Bible says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Israel, the Lord God of Israel. Yes, we know God made the whole world, but he chose a specific people. He chose one nation, and that's the nation of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Go ahead. For he has visited and redeemed his people. For he has visited and redeemed his people. How did he do that? When we read Matthew chapter 1 verse 21, and she shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So right here, Zacharias, the father of John the Baptist, is saying the same thing in the book of Luke. Read it again, verse 68. Verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, mm -hmm. for he has visited and redeemed his people by sending Jesus Christ to die for the nation of Israel only. Read on. And has raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, David. So the horn of salvation is Jesus Christ. Why? Because we are the ones that needed Savior. Read on. As he, uh, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Why is it saying that? Because Jesus Christ was prophesied all the way in the Old Testament. 
You read about Christ in the book of Deuteronomy. You read about Christ in Genesis. You read about Christ in the Psalms of David. It was always prophesied that Christ would come to die for the nation of Israel and die for the nation of Israel only. Read on. That we shall be that we should be saved from our enemies. Now what is that? What is that? It says that we should be saved from our enemies. Brothers and sisters of Ghana, we have enemies. The Bible is saying that Christ is going to save us from our enemies. Who are these enemies? Nehemiah 5 verse 9. Because remember what we read in Matthews chapter 1. It was verse, let me see the verse, let me see the verse. Verse 17, it talks about the generations that were going into captivity. Do friends put friends in captivity? No, they don't. Enemies put enemies in captivity. So Christ is coming back to save us from those who had us captives. I need you to think now. I know it's early in the morning. I know it's nice and early in the morning. But you know one thing I noticed about the brothers and sisters here in Ghana. You guys get up early. So there should be no cobwebs of confusion caused by getting up too early. Let these scriptures wake you up. Wake up and smell the scriptures. Jesus Christ said he has come to save us from our enemies. Who are the enemies? Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 9. Nehemiah 5 verse 9. Come on. Also, I said, it is not good that ye do. Ye are, ought ye not to walk in the fear of our God mm -hmm. because of the reproach of the heathen, our enemies. So who's the enemies? The heathen. What does the word heathen mean? Nations, nations, nations. So when you go back to Luke chapter 1 verse 71, Luke chapter 1 verse 71, that we sh should be saved from, from our enemies and from the hand of all the haters. So who's the enemies here? Nations, nations, nations. The same nations that took you into captivity. Oh, you forgot. You forgot because you're living lovely here. You got your jollof rice. You got your fufu. You got your yam. You got your white Jesus. You done forgot. Who built Elmina Castle? Elmina Castle. Who built that? The Portuguese. Then the Dutch came and took it over. Then the British came and took it over. Why? Because slavery was big economics. Slavery was big economics. Who was being sold into slavery, the children of Israel, the sons and daughters of Ghana. You are the Israelites. God says that he's going to save you from your enemies. As pertaining to Luke chapter 1 verse 71, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Verse 72. Verse 72. To perform the mercies promised to our fathers mm -hmm. and to remember his holy covenant. And to remember his holy covenant. Read on. The oath which he swore to our father Abraham. What is the oath that he swore to our father Abraham? Notice the possessive noun. Our father. Our father. It's making reference to the patriarchs. You had Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? Out of Jacob came the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So what is your pastor talking about? They are liars. They are liars. They are deceiving you. Let's read about the oath that he swore to Abraham. Let's get that in Genesis 22, verse 16. Genesis chapter 22, verse 16. The Genesis chapter 22, mm -hmm. verse 16. Genesis chapter 22, verse 16. And said, by myself have I sworn, said the Lord. For because thou has done this thing, mm -hmm. and thou has not withheld thy son, thy eyes, I mean, excuse me. Thine only son? Yeah, that, excuse me. And, and said, by myself have I sworn, and, and said, by myself have I sworn, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. For because thou has done this thing, and has not withheld thy son, mm -hmm. thy only son, Read. that in the blood. That in blessings will I bless thee, and in multi multiplying, I will multiply thy seed mm -hmm. as the stars of heaven. Mm. So the promise was to Abraham, he was going to multiply our seed as the stars of heaven. That's why the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, because we are the 12 tribes of Israel, we are innumerable. 
Not only in America, but scattered abroad. God said he was going to multiply our seed as the stars of heaven. Read on. And as the sand of the sand upon the sea, mm -hmm. sure, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. Mm -hmm. And our seed, when Christ comes, we're going to possess the gates of our enemies. What is that talking about? Rulership. Rulership under Jesus Christ. Since we're on rulership under Jesus Christ, since he came to die only for the nation of Israel, get me Genesis 49, verse 12. Genesis. Rulership under Jesus Christ. Genesis 49, verse Genesis 12. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. And his eyes shall be red with wine. So this is about Jesus Christ. Get me verse 10. I'm sorry, verse 10. Verse 10. Mm -hmm. And the scepter shall not depart from Judah. And the rulership shall not depart from Judah. What? tribe did Jesus Christ come out of? The tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah. The Bible says the scepter shall not depart from Judah. Meaning rulership shall not depart from Judah. So what is Christ coming back to do? Christ is coming back to rule the nations with a rod of iron. Let me repeat that again. Christ is coming back to rule the nations with a rod of iron. Iron. Go back to Luke. You left off at Luke chapter 1. Right. Let's start off at verse 71 again. Luke chapter 1 verse 71. That we should, that we should be saved from our enemies mm -hmm. and from the hand of all that hate us. That we should be saved from our enemies and the hand of all that hate us. Read on. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers mm -hmm. and to remember his holy covenant. Read on. The oath which he swore. By our father Abraham, mm -hmm. that he was great unto us, that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. So what is that going into? That's letting you know right now in this present time, we are in the what? The hand and the land of our enemies. That's why the enemies were able to colonize you. That's why you have the sons and daughters of Israel in the United States under the hand of the Ibroni, as you say it. The so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. He is the devil. He is the devil. What does the word devil mean? Deceiver. God said he's coming to save us out of the hand of our enemies. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. Give me John chapter 11 and verse 56. And we know it. We know it. We said the word John. A lot of you went back to sleep. A lot of you went right back into La La Land when we said the word John. Now you're thinking about John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall have eternal. That's garbage. That is garbage. Christ only died for the nation of Israel and we can prove it. Nana Bani, you wanted to say something? Okay, so you guys can call in. What's the number, Nana? Okay, yeah, uh, you can call in now. Zero two four six eight zero seven five four five. Probably, uh, and somehow Abu Boston, you do have an issue about it, or you want to ask a question. It's all about saying Jesus Christ came to die for Israel. That's all that uh, Captain Isaac is talking about. Uh, Jesus Christ, the Umar, Israel for. Now, uh, for you to know, so you Israel, near know you Israel. You can read Nehemiah chapter five verse nine. You get to read more about it, and you get to know more. T right, right about now. You can call in. Nobody me afraid now. Or question on all this. Zero two four six eight zero seven five four five. Zero two four six eight zero seven five four five. Zero two four six eight zero seven. Five, four, five. Probably you do have a question. You want to ascertain what they are trying to put across. You want to get to know more. You can call in down zero two four six eight zero seven five four five zero two four six eight zero seven five four five. Okay. John chapter eleven verse fifty one. We're still okay. in the New Testament. We do have a call on the okay. line. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, well. I think we lost uh, the person. Okay. Uh, you can call back 0246 807 545. 0246 807 545. Okay. 
Captain. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. 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 thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, please call in. Call in. Many of you pastors that are awake, call in. Call in. So now we're in the book of John, chapter 11 and verse 51. Go ahead. And he spake. Uh, and this spake okay, he. Sorry, we not of a... Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, please, your name, where are you calling from? Master K, let me hear you. Yes, please. Okay, thank you, Master K. Captain, I believe you had him right. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I did hear him. Get Ephesians 2.11. Ephesians 2.11. Because a lot of time when people hear the word Gentile or Grecians or so forth, they think other nations. Remember, under King Solomon's son, the kingdom was split into two. You had the kingdom of Judah, which was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And you had the kingdom of Ephraim, also known as the kingdom of Israel. From Ephraim all the way down to Naphtali. Those two kingdoms were split. The kingdom of Judah did not deal with the northern kingdom of Israel. They went into idolatry, thus resulting in them being called Gentiles. Christ came to bring those two nations back together. I'm going to repeat that again. Christ came to bring those two nations back together. Ephesians. Ephesians 2 verse 11. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, remember that ye, being in time past, Gentiles in the flesh. So who was Paul speaking to? He was speaking to the Israelites at the church in Ephesus. We had synagogues all over. He said, you being in times past, Gentiles in the flesh. Could you ever be, I'll give you an example today. Once a Chinese, always a Chinese. Once a white man, always a white man. So why did he say in times past, Gentiles in the flesh? Because at one time, they were what? They were keeping idolatry. They were into paganism. That's why he said Gentiles in the flesh. Read it again. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past, mm -hmm. Gentiles in the flesh. Gentiles in the flesh. Many of them were even walking around uncircumcised, according to the flesh. Okay? Go to Colossians. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 20. Okay, before that, hello, good mm -hmm. morning. Yes, please, your name, where are you calling from? Okay, your name. Okay, Evangelist, let me hear you. Yes, please. Okay, so you, you, you mean to ask... Uh, since you are not in Ghana, you don't live in Israel, uh, are you not saved? Okay, so, so that's what you want to ask, I believe. Okay, okay. Well, thanks for your time. Um, I do appreciate it. Yeah. 0246-807-545. 0246-807-545. You can call in. Okay, yeah. Yes, get me Colossians chapter 1 verse 21. Colossians. Because the last caller, did, he did say that uh, we were alienated because we were Gentiles. Okay, you're going to find out that, that no, you are not Gentiles. You're walking around in a Gentile state of mind. But you, brothers and sisters of Ghana, you are not Gentiles. You are the biblical descendants of the Israelites. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 21. Come Colossians on. 1 verse 21. And you... That were sometime alienated. It says the and you that were sometimes yeah. alienated. Come on. And enemies in their and enemies in your mind. In your mind. Come on. By wicked works. What are the wicked works that was in your mind? What were the wicked works? Pagan, paganism, idolatry. The northern kingdom of Israel went into idolatry. That's what the whole book of Hosea was about. Read the prophet Hosea. Read the prophet Hosea. God says, I'm going to call him Lo Ruhama. 
means not my people. Why? The northern kingdom of Israel went into idolatry. So the southern kingdom, the kingdom of Judah, we stopped talking to them. We treated them like Gentiles. God says, no, no, I'm sending my Christ. I'm sending my son Christ to die for both nations, bringing them back to one. Read it again, verse 21. Verse 21. And you, and you, that word sometime alienated in enemies in your minds Read. by wicked works. Read. Yet now has he uh, reconciled. Read verse 22. Verse 22. In the body of his flesh through the death, mm -hmm. through death, to present you holy and un unblameable and unreproachable in his sight. And unreproachable in his sight. So what is that talking about? God sent Jesus Christ to die not only for the nation of Judah, but also for the nation of Israel, the northern kingdom, bringing us back into one fold. So when Jesus Christ said, I have sheep that are not of this fold, he was talking about the northern kingdom of Israel. Okay, he was talking about the northern kingdom of Israel. Now we're going to prove that. Let me prove that. John chapter 11, verse 51. Actually, start at verse 50. John 11, verse 50. Nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people mm -hmm. and that the whole nation perish not. Mm -hmm. And this spake he, not of himself, mm -hmm. but being high priest that year, mm -hmm. he prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation. Read on. And not for that nation only. Stop. And not for that nation only, meaning not for the kingdom of Judah only, go ahead. But that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. We read it earlier. How were they scattered abroad? Nana Bani. How were they scattered abroad? Mm -hmm. Slavery. Slavery. And in that slavery, we took on the religions and the customs of those who oppressed us. That's the same thing that was going on back then during the time of Jesus. The northern kingdom and remnants of the southern kingdom that were scattered during the Greek captivity, we became Grecians. We became Grecians. We walked around uncircumcised. We were worshiping Zeus, Hercules, um, um, Athenius, and so forth. That was us. That was us. So they said, not for that nation only, but those that were scattered abroad. James chapter 1 and verse 1. James chapter 1 and verse 1. Brothers and sisters of Ghana, it's time to wake up. This is your constitution. The Bible is your book. You are the Israelites. James chapter 1 and verse 1. Come James on. 1 verse 1. Hmm? James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the 12 tribes. Now, now, Bani, listen to this. To the 12 tribes. 12 tribes. What's the topic, brothers and sisters of Ghana? 12 tribes. Come on. Which are scattered abroad. Go back to John 11 and verse 52. John 11, verse 52. And not for that nation only. Not for that nation only, Now, now Bani, the kingdom of Judah. Come on. But that also he should gather together in one the children of God. That were scattered abroad. The 12 tribes scattered abroad. Greetings. That's what the Bible is about. The Bible has always been about the redemption of the Israelites. Before our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Yes, I said it. The black Messiah. Brothers and sisters of Ghana, it's time to wake up. Okay, um, hmm. So Israel United in Christ uh, is located at uh, Kumasi Cultural Center, Center for National Culture. You can call them uh, via personal numbers on 0207-442-316, 0207-442-316, that happens to be their personal numbers, or 0540-859-255, 0540-859-255. Eight five nine two five five. Any of these numbers, you can call them zero two zero seven four four two three one six zero two zero seven four four two three one six or zero five four zero eight five nine two five five zero five four zero eight five nine two five five. Their website www.israelunite.org. 
www.israelunite.org on Facebook um, uh, you can get to reach them as well today's topic we looked at Jesus died for only Israel yeah that's what uh, captain was saying so captain we draw the captain on your last word then we draw the captain our last words is our uh, prayers is that the brothers and sisters of God is time to repent <coughs> next uh, month there's a holiday a holiday hell day called Christmas which is not biblical you say you love God well prove it God is gonna prove prove everything by our works stop celebrating Christmas you can start there um, notice everything that we brought out today we we read it thus saith the Lord this was not our own word we read it out the Bible, precept upon precept. Brothers and sisters, it's time to come home. Jesus Christ is knocking on the door. Okay, so you heard from uh, Captain Isaac as well as Captain Hananiah with the message of the Lord. There are numbers for the last time, 0207-442-316, 0207-442-316, or 540 Eight five nine two five five zero five four zero eight five nine two five five. You can call any of them and uh, get to reach them, speak with them, get more further explanations on uh, things they talked about, and how you can uh, use that to improve, position yourself very well in the worship of Jesus Christ in the service of the Lord. We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on Paul's mission we out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.